guys, today's video is going to be a review on the new Revlon Color Stay 2-in-1 Compact Makeup and Concealer. This is in the shade 400 Caramel. I got this at Ulta for $15.99. This foundation does come in 12 shades. I have the second to last shade. The claims on the back of this foundation say all day wear, flawless finish, and sweat resistant. I love the packaging of this product. It is a three-tiered compact, so when you open it up, the first thing you see is the concealer, and then when you lift it up is the foundation, and then when you lift this up, you see a mirror and the sponge. I personally didn't really like the sponge, so I did choose to use a brush to apply the foundation. To apply the foundation, I use the e.l.f. Selfie Ready Foundation Brush, and all I did was I tapped the brush onto the foundation. I didn't rub it in. I didn't try to pick up too much product. This is a heavier foundation, so I would suggest you just tap the brush onto the product and apply it directly to your face. I used a buffing motion to smooth out the foundation. It blended beautifully. There was no streakiness. I was able to go back and stipple on a little bit more foundation onto any dark areas that I have. My face looks flawless. I can't see any imperfections on my face. You do have to work really quickly with this foundation because it sets really fast. So don't linger too much. Focus on one side of your face first and then focus on the other. Since this is a cream foundation, I would say it has a demi matte finish to it it's not fully matte there is a reflective glow to it and the concealer did give really nice coverage under my eyes it covered up the darkness i do think if you have really dark circles under your eyes this concealer will not be enough for you since this is not a fully matte foundation i did decide to set it i set the concealer and i set my t-zone with a pressed powder I do have an oily t-zone so I think setting it is best for me. I did notice that the oil starts to pierce through throughout the day so setting it will allow a little bit more longevity. So as far as skin types go, I think if you have dry skin, this will be a really nice, comfortable finish for you. If you have oily skin, you can make it work with a pressed powder. I don't think it's ideal for someone with oily skin. I think it's more ideal for someone with normal to dry skin. So overall, this is something that I like to wear on a daily basis. It gives a really nice coverage. It evens out my skin tone. I love the consistency of this cream-based foundation. It's really lightweight. When I was applying it, I didn't even feel like I was applying anything to my face. So it's really nice on the skin. And I also do want to mention that when you look at the packaging, it seems really dark. So you really want to keep in mind that the packaging, the foundation itself looks super dark in the compact and you know when I applied it to my face it didn't look that dark so really keep that in mind when you go to the store and pick out a color. So I am really pleased with this foundation. It feels great, it looks great, I love the packaging and I'm definitely looking forward to using this up. That's it for this review, thanks for watching I will see you next time. Bye!